All right, we're talking about the Cherokee 2022 Arctic Wolf Worth. Ah, Arctic Wolf. Ah, Arctic Wolf fifth wheel. You'll notice it has auto leveling. It's got a great paint scheme. Multiple windows. Sorry for the wind, guys. Got a back window, backup camera. It's got opposing slides. This is the uh, outdoor shower power cable. This is where you can store the power cable. And there's a little storage area. Then, uh, of course, it's double axle. Then you have the uh, hot water heater, which is electric and gas. Then you have the furnace. Then you have your utility light black tank flush city water connection fresh water fresh water fill you can hook cable and satellite which runs through the whole camper and you can also hook up solar panels and then in here is pass through storage you can see i got a water, water hose and whatnots in there this is where the propane tank is done at this is where you could put a generator you got the auto leveling system here um, it's where the battery disconnect is at. Um, got 150 watts of solar up top. It's 29 feet long, rear living. Let's let the camera adjust. All right, got the refrigerator. It's nice size, residential type. Runs off DC power. Got the island with the sink, farm style sink. Four piece dinette got the uh, the reclining chairs with vibration massage heated and cooled seats they recline flat so they can be up against the wall got USB ports for charging your devices same on that side that's a pull-out couch right there it's all leather storage above ceiling fan TV smart TV of course radio system furnace fireplace Storage above, the kitchen area, storage above, microwave, three burner stove, oven, more storage, cooking countertop. And then you have the nook where you can put your kettle, your Keurig, crock pot, whatever the hell, Instapot. And you got USB charge there. You got a telescoping touch um, faucet. You have more power bank here with USB charging. Dual air conditioning. Great lighting, indoor speakers. Um, pantry. It's a great size. You can see I've uh, got plenty of storage. It's all shuffled around from moving. I leave it that way because when you move, when you move, you just want to be done with it. You know, you don't want to have to set it up. Then it just, there's really nothing you can do. And then you have places to hang your keys, jackets, hats, whatever. You got the control panel, which is motion assisted. You have motion lights that light up when you're walking at night. You have the control panel here. Oh, right there. Gives you all the. You can control everything. You can hook in your routers right here to make your whole camper a hot spot. You have your heat water heater, solar panels, check in voltage. This AC controller thermostat for that air conditioner. Then you have a great size medicine cabinet. And then in here, you can put, just real deep, you can put lots of towels, clothes. You can even put food in there if you want. Then you have the shower, toilet, max air fan, air conditioning inside. You got pop lights. Then you have where the magic happens. You got a queen size bed, his and her storage on each side. 
power and USBs on each side of the bed. You can hook up a CPAP machine. You can hook up any kind of medical you want to hook up to. You got your electrical panel, light switches, and then the AC here that blows right on the bed. So windows, Chefero cabinet, whatever you want to call it, and then a place to hook up TV if you want one in the in the bedroom. I don't think people spend a lot of time in the bedroom watching TV. I think it's kind of a waste of money, but you can actually walk around the uh, the uh, the bed here, and you can lift this up for storage under the bed. So you, under the bed, you can put batteries if you wanted to do um, if you wanted to store solar energy, put more panels up top, what have you. Um, it's very comfortable to live in. I've lived in this thing when it was snowing. It's more of an off-grid option for me. Um, I have a generator that can power everything and solar to run everything I need to run. Um, right now I have it plugged in. But uh, I give this fifth wheel, actually, if you talk about everything from the weight to the pulling ability, the, the way it pulls, the way it goes down the road, the quality of the build. I mean, it is an RV. It is what it is. But as far as other ones that I have, um, other ones I have had, it is the best so far. Um, the freezer really keeps things cold. Um, these weird blinds, they just roll up and down and you just find a spot where it blocks it out. Not in love with them, but I see how they work. See how they let some of the light in, you just adjust it. But with, with that furnace and a little bitty space heater, it will keep, you don't even have to run your furnace in the winter. It keeps it that warm. The furnace also runs under the covered underbelly. So all your pipes won't freeze and whatnot. That's why I have a heated hose because that's the weakest link is bringing the water into your rig. So I, I have a heated hose that keeps it from freezing in the, in the coming into the rig. And then the furnace will, of course, I put a remote um, thermostat on the bottom of the rig and it tells me what the temperature is under there and when it gets to a certain temperature I'll turn the heater on and it will hold it pretty good um, so I love this uh, RV um, it's great because you kind of keep it the way it is and uh, I just load the dog up when it's time to go hitch it up go to the park go walk, jet skiing go out on the boat do whatever I want to do and I have a place and uh, also when the power goes out for an extended period of time due to whatever situation might be I can just come take my butt right into the fifth wheel and keep on trucking don't have to worry about anything because um, I got the generator that will power everything I hope y'all are doing great um, things have changed I'm going to continue to just talk about what I want to talk about and keep everything just to myself. Uh, continue to uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up and uh, shout out to all the vloggers that have given me any type of shout out or support. Um, Y'all take it easy. And then here comes the princess herself. She's come, She knows all about this place. She's lived in this joint so you can comfortably sleep two people there and two people in the in the uh, um, master but Bella basically takes control of the uh, of the couch I did pull her bl the blanket down off of there and washed it it's in the dryer right now y'all have a good one and relax and have a good weekend Y'all take it easy. John Blaze out.